Hello, my name is Katie Bischoff, and today I'm going to be reading From the Stars in the Sky to the Fish in the Sea. And this is written by Kai Chang Tong and illustrated by Wai Yan Li and Kai Yan Ching. Once upon a time, in a little blue house, on a hill on the edge of town, a baby was born. They were born when both the moon and the sun were in the sky. So the baby couldn't decide what to be. Boy or girl, bird or fish, cat or rabbit, tree or star. So the baby looked a little like everything. They looked very strange. All the same, the baby's mother gave her child a bath and rocked them in her arms. Your name, she said, is Milan. And she sang a song that her own mother had sung to her long ago. Whatever you dream of, I believe you can be. From the stars in the sky to the fish in the sea, you can crawl like a crab or with feathers fly high. And I'll always be here, I'll be near, standing by. And you know that I'll love you till the day that I die. And even though they still couldn't decide, the baby felt loved. Mulan grew up to be a strange, magical child who was always changing. They grew feathers and wings to fly with bluebirds in the mornings, scales and a tail to swim with fish in the afternoons, and fur and paws to play with puppies in the evenings. No matter how many things Mulan became, their mother always brought them back into the little blue house, gave them a bath, and tucked them into bed at the day's end. As the stars rose, she sang, whatever you dream of, I believe you can be. From the stars in the sky to the fish in the sea, and Mulan felt loved. One day, it was time for the child to go to school. They were so excited. They grew a tail of peacock feathers and a coat of tiger stripes. Have fun, said Mulan's mother. But when they got to the school, the other students were either boys or girls. They had no feathers, no scales, no leaves, no fur, no fins, not even any sparkles. No one invited Mulan to play. One little boy ran up to the child and asked, what are you supposed to be? Mulan didn't know how to answer. When they came home, their mother asked them how they'd like school. It's okay, Mulan said. Did you make any friends? Not really, said Mulan. That night, Mulan's mother tucked them into bed and sang, you can crawl like a crab or with feathers fly high. And I'll always be here, I'll be near standing by. And you know that I'll love you till the day that I die. And Mulan felt loved, but also worried. The next day, they wore a turtle shell and a porcupine spines. No one pulled or poked Mulan, but the other children still pointed and whispered. Did you make any friends today? Asked their mother. Not really, said Mulan. That night, Mulan's mother tucked them into bed and sang, whatever you dream of, I believe you can be from the stars in the sky to the fish in the sea. And Mulan felt loved, but they also felt sad. The next day, Mulan wore no feathers, no scales, no leaves, no fur, no fins, no shells, no spines, not even any sparkles. Mulan was invited to play baseball with the boys. No one pointed, whispered, laughed, or stared. But when Mulan joined the little girls playing hopscotch. Boys don't play hopscotch, said a little girl. Are you a boy or a girl anyway? Asked a little boy. Didn't you have a shell the other day? Asked a little girl. And feathers the day before? What are you supposed to be? said several children at once. I don't know, Mulan shouted. 
and galloped out of the playground on horses' hooves, swam through the stream with a fish's tail, and soared up the hill on an eagle's wings. How was school? asked Mulan's mother. I wore feathers and stripes so that the other kids would think I was beautiful, but they thought I was weird. And then I wore a shell and spines so that no one would pull or poke me, but they wouldn't talk to me. And then I tried to be just like everyone else, but I haven't made any friends. I can't decide what to be. Why do I have to be just one thing? It isn't always easy to be different from everyone else, said their mother, but you can only be who you are. What if the other children don't like who I am? Sniffled Mulan. Their mother smiled sadly. I don't know, she admitted, but I do know this. Whatever you dream of, I believe you can be from the stars in the sky to the fish in the sea. And Mulan felt loved. That night, they slept a deep sleep. The next day, Mulan wore fur, feathers, scales, leaves, and many sparkles that glittered like stars. For a moment, none of the other children spoke. Then a little girl said, you can fly? That's so cool. I like your sparkles, said a little boy. I'm sorry I pulled your feathers, said the boy with red hair. I was a little jealous of them. Mulan asked, does anyone want to play with me? They showed the other children how to gallop like horses, climb like monkeys, and swim like fish. It was fun to be many different things. And the child of fur, feathers, scales, leaves, and sparkles, who was neither boy nor girl, but many things and always changing, felt happy. In the little blue house on the hill, on the edge of town, Mulan's mother smiled and sang the song of her mother, had sung to her once upon a time. Whatever you dream of, I believe you can be. From the stars in the sky to the fish in the sea, you can crawl like a crab or with feathers fly high. And I'll always be here, I'll be near standing by, and you'll know that I love you till the day that I die. Whatever you dream of, I believe you can be, for you are my child, courageous and free. Thank you for listening to this book, From the Stars in the Sky to the Fish in the Sea.